Well, here we go with a video of the engine put back together. A couple custom things added. Uh, first of all, let's just run a little bit. So one of the Okay, so after a few minutes of runtime, uh, the E units got noisier, the engine is running less well, and the evidence of binding, if I get the camera right, uh, seems to be reappearing. So I'm gonna take it over to the round house and uh, take everything back apart. I don't know. I don't know if I've got one of the wheels slightly out of quarter. I didn't mess with any of that. Um, and like I said, it could be the side rod adjustments that I made uh, actually are binding. But until I take things apart, I won't know. So I'll let you join me for that. All right, so now I've got the side rod uh, removed and I thought I'd bring the camera back on because look at that. Very smooth. Uh, notice the motor is not making any extra noise, but more importantly, the reverse unit is not buzzing like crazy. I'm gonna give it more RPMs here. Nothing out of the reverse unit. It's completely quiet. So what this tells me is I've got a quartering issue um, with, I don't know if it's the main drivers or the front drivers, but uh, now I'm gonna take uh, a quartering jig out and I'm going to you know, put it on here and try to confirm what's going on uh, and uh, then I'll bring it back on once I determine that but that's my suspicion and that's why we've got binding going on all right now we've got some washers on either end and you can see it's still moving a little bit but uh, a fraction of what it was and uh, that's that's much better now, why do I care how much it moves back and forth? Well, because there is what I, I don't know, this is a very untechnical term, uh, but I think there's a sweet spot um, in, this, in the magnetic, magnetic forces created by this field here. And um, what I've seen with different engines is once the, the iron part of the armature, now let me do this, let's grab this one here okay so once you know as this thing moves back and forth you're getting a little bit of this iron uh from the armature outside of alignment with the field it may not be much but even if it's a little bit you're losing some of your sweet spot you're going to have uh higher amps uh less rpms um and potentially, depending on how much it moves back and forth, you know, it may cause issues for uh, the commutator surface and where the brushes meet it. You know, in this case, it's, it's not an issue. Um, the, the barrel commutator is long enough that um, I've been watching and, and the brushes are always making, you know, good contact. They're not off one side or slamming up against the uh, commutator bottom. Um, insulator there so that's not an issue in this case but it's something to be conscious of um, when you're working on these engines um, again they last forever they're fairly simple um, but sometimes they need a little tweak or, or so and I don't know <laughs> I don't know the story of what was going on with the person that had worked on this before me but when I took the, <laughs> I took the uh, motor assembly apart pulled the commutator out here was one of the washers that should have been on the armature shaft laying underneath down in here uh i couldn't have even told you that they could fit down there without you know binding up on the motor but uh anyhow it was just sitting down there waiting for somebody to notice and put it back where it should be so anyhow you just <laughs> i just never never cease to be amazed at all the crazy things i find with 
uh, these flyer engines that have been around for um, so many years and had so many people messing with them. But uh, we are in good shape here. You see we got great RPMs. Uh, no sound out of the, out of the uh, solenoid here in the reverse unit. So that tells me we've got good, um, good, good use of our voltage, and we don't have a lot of uh, overheating that kind of stuff. Plus, as you can hear, if I stop talking. I mean, this engine is winding out, so it's running real free. That's what we want. All right, I'll bring you back when there's something else exciting to report. Okay, we are back with a take number two, and uh, I think this one is now ready to roll. There we go, nice and slow. This is 8.5 volts. Um, the best I could do earlier to get it to roll was something like 11. So, uh, again, what that tells you is everything's freed up and the armature and brushes and commutator are all making good contact. And again, as I mentioned, my personal thoughts are if you can keep that field and armature lined up, it's going to run a lot better, a lot cooler, a lot slower. Um, and as you can see, that's what we've got going. And look at that, even got a little smoke. That's so cool. And notice what you don't hear. At least not very much. Reverse unit. Notice what we got here for volts. Pretty awesome. <laughs> 